In today's Ask the Expert segment, we're talking about a weight loss trend. Chances are you've heard a lot about Ozempic or seen the commercials for it. It's a once weekly injectable medication to help adults with type 2 diabetes manage their blood sugar. But a lot of people have actually been using Ozempic to lose weight, even though it's not officially a weight loss drug. And chances are you know someone who's using it to lose weight. But how safe is it? Here to break down the facts for us is Dr. Sonal Harder from St. Joseph's Hospital. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. This is such a hot medical topic mm -hmm. right now because so many people we all know are using it for weight loss. But how is it that this is a diabetes drug, mm -hmm. but it's used for something completely different? So FDA did approve these medications for weight loss mm -hmm. in 2019. And the medications actually semaglutide are labeled as Wigovi and Saxenda. Those are the weight loss medications. However, they're all labeled as GLP-1 agonists. Now these medications are very similar to what our bodies make, which is GLP hormone. Mm -hmm. Now the hormone and medications actually actually help us produce insulin, which lowers blood sugars. That's how it helps with diabetes. But they also help us feel full. So it slows down digestion, and that causes sensation of fullness. They also signal our brains causing fullness. So the, the, those are two ways that people consume lesser calories, thereby losing weight. So it is actually FDA approved for weight loss. However, not all of them. Yeah. Two of them on that group are approved for weight loss. Two of them, and one of them is Wagovi, right? Correct, and yeah. which is semaglutide. Ozempic okay. is also semaglutide. It's just labeled differently mm -hmm. as trade names. Okay, so, but here is the flip side, though. A lot of them cause side effects, right? Yes. I mean, some of which include dehydration, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, stomach pain, mood changes. Mm -hmm. Some of the less common side effects include pancreatitis, mm -hmm. worsening of depression, and even suicidal thoughts or ideas. So. I'm wondering, I mean, really how safe is it? Is it worth it? So I will tell you this, these medications are great for obesity. Obesity has tripled since 1975. And obesity, now we know it's a chronic disease. It is not a disease of willpower. Mm -hmm. We know there are a lot of factors that go into obesity. So we, these medications are crucial. However, the key is they need to be supervised. They need to be followed by an obesity specialist or an endocrinology specialist who's actually closely watching patients for all these side effects. These five side effects are not that common, but they can happen. Sure. And hence, I think doctor's appointments are very essential. So I'm wondering then, let's just say you get to your desired weight. Mm -hmm. Then what happens? Do you stop taking it or do you have to take it? That's a great question. And one size does not fit all because yeah. some patients may not need these medications in long term, but some patients who have fought chronic obesity may need for a long time. And that's that's exactly the point of obesity. It is not just eat less, exercise more. There's a lot of factors that go into someone fighting chronic disease like obesity. Okay, so your bottom line advice to bottom anyone line. who's taking this, what would that be? So bottom line is we need multimodal treatment for obesity. These medications are great for someone who's fought chronic obesity for a long time. The foundation of the treatments though does not change, which is good nutrition, regular physical activity, treating people like a full body and not just medications. Right. That's not just one dimensional. Yeah, it goes back to diet and exercise. Exactly. But diet as in like a healthy lifestyle. Right. Diet. Making exactly. good choices. So making healthy nutritional choices, also working on protein intake, building your muscle mass. We know that people who have good muscle mass and are actually resistance training require less dose and can get off the medications faster than people who are not able to do that. So that does not change. That's the hallmark of treatment, which is healthy healthy lifestyle. And on that, we build some of these medications that some people truly benefit from these medications. Okay, can't wait to have you back again next Friday. So Thank that you was for wonderful. having me. Thanks for educating us. All right, over to you, Lindsay.